Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Ren and I have found something goofy that we can laugh at. I was doing the norm scrolling on TikTok and came across this one guy a few times making fun of TikTok room finds and I don't blame him. These videos rely on overconsumption and people with just a bad taste to survive and this is some of the most abhorrent stuff that I have seen and it's so funny to me. So let me stop yapping. Let's take a look at some amazing TikTok room finds. The first account I saw when I was looking for these videos went by the handle gentle needs and their pinned videos got hella clout like for finding the worst room finds imaginable ah yes i've been in need for some men's bedroom finds let's check it out mm -hmm. yes what just what every room needs a lounge sofa right next to their bed so in case you get bored of laying on your comfy bed you can lay on the less comfy lounge sofa it is necessary if you want to switch things up a little bit you know or just get a lounge sofa for your dog if that doesn't doesn't suit your fancy however, you can get some top of the line zin holders to make sure that you're an addict but a stylish and organized one. A drawer could never serve the purpose of this because it doesn't have the zin logo. How could we also forget something that everyone needs and has in their room a custom spotify plaque and in case you're feeling a little unmotivated gentle needs does have you covered with the ugliest motivational plaques they found on amazon if you're feeling extra stressed and unmotivated the personal jacuzzi on amazon might have you covered you see for 79 dollars you can add water damage to your floors by installing this in the corner of your bedroom even though your floor is rotting out you will be balling however you'll need something to accent your new personal jacuzzi. So how about a new lovely custom Uzi? Something that you'll spend even more on than the personal jacuzzi because this bitch will run you $795. However, you will pull many bitches as this tough piece you can get for display and it's very safe to have. Next, to add to this beautiful room we're building, you can add the engine table. It'll really tie the place together. And to go with your newly purchased engine table, you can get some croc spoilers to match and a Lego Porsche maybe to put next to your displayable custom Uzi. If you really want to hone in on your car guy aesthetic for the low, 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 low price of $1.4 million, you can get an F1 car mounted to your wall and or a ceiling. The ladies will love it, the boys will love it. It's an all around W, am I right gamers? I'm shocked we have yet to find a sick race car bed to tie it all together nicely. While I am inclined to believe that this particular account is satire due to the fact the captions are are very self-aware there's actual tiktok accounts that legitimately post this shit thinking it's hard as fuck only to get bullied in the comments and i think that that's really funny like this account certified plug they seem to have some very cool shit for my room let's check it out ah a lighter something i've been needing for when my room gets a little chilly and I need to set it on fire. This is so perfect. We may not have found the race car bed to go with the cheap $1.4 million F1s on the wall, but we found a fucking epic race car telephone. This is a W for the car guy community, fellas. Get the car phone to call your bitches on. And for the basketball enthusiasts out there, for $30, you can get yourself some art made from tattered flat basketballs. You're paying for someone else's junk. However, it will ensure that you lay pipe no matter who's entering your bedroom. And if you want to make sure it's guaranteed, you can also add the $44 Goku lamp in for good measure. If the wall of deflated basketballs wasn't enough, you can also get the lovely smiley face basketball plant holder. It'll really bring everything together. However, for your basketball themed room, you obviously need an unusable Jordan hoop to go on the wall. And we'll also bring in the basketball hoop trash can you can purchase as well. And to hold the door open while you're balling hard, consider Consider getting the gold bar doorstop to hold your door open for that extra space. To rest your head at night, consider the water park bed with the basketball plushies to go on it. Or, well, if you're more of a nature person, you can try out the AI generated moss bed and across from it, add a traffic light. It'll really give you that I'm on the edge of the highway about to get like hit by a car type of feel. You know what? Fuck it. We add in the goddamn rock wall too. In case you sleepwalk often and need a form of exercise, the rock wall might just be for you. It's a necessity necessity that every bedroom needs. If you don't have a rock wall in your room, you don't get bitches in your bed. It's a very well-known saying for a reason. Anyways, with all this new stuff, you'll be looking loaded like hella rich, so why not add a rock zipper case to your cart for $14? It won't do anything 
or add anything of value to your room. However, it'll keep your McDonald's paycheck of $150 safe from those pesky burglars. And if you need something on your desk to put right next to your ROG zipper purse, honestly, I think you should get the Fortnite shield lamp to go with it. If you're feeling like you didn't spend enough money on useless shit, fear not, there's more. For the small price of $14, you can get a lever to put over your light switch. It's very necessary for when you're for when you're erotically role-playing Frankenstein with the boys, it needs to flip a very dramatic switch for him to pop a heart on and rise from the dead. Then, after all is said and done, you and your homies can take a pleasant nap and cuddle up in the giant sock. Cause as they say, it's not gay if your socks are on. Anyways, joking time is over. As funny as these videos are, they continuously promote overconsumption. They'll often use wording like bedroom needs and show you stuff that isn't really necessary. For some reason, they're all obsessed with selling you watches as well. I want everyone to know that these are a business for people. They often have affiliate links that they earn commission from anytime someone uses that link to make a purchase. Like, come on, man, a bubble wall? Sure, it looks cool, but what's the purpose? I saw them post a, a literal water dispenser and for the caption it was like cool shit you need for your room like at least they know it's shit and like just junk but nobody needs this stuff tiktok and the internet in general has fallen so hard into pushing for overconsumption it's kind of sad at this point even videos that are supposed to be satisfying are just to make you feel poor fuck i've seen people prepare food for their pets and promote overconsumption but as someone who's worked in digital marketing that's the point being extra is how these people run their business. It's how they get clicks for their affiliate links, and it's how they earn an income. I'd look at these room ideas and videos where they have so much stuff as if it was more like a Disney show. Nobody is actually buying these things, nobody actually needs these things, or this much stuff in general. I also wanted to like ask the question, who is buying this stuff? Like, who is this stuff for? Why would anyone need a water dispenser in their bedroom? Why would anyone need a rock wall in their bedroom or anything of the sort? It just kind of makes no sense. But at the same time, they don't really earn anything unless you buy anything. So I don't understand why they're just not showing you anything that you would need to buy. Every now and again, I will find some like LED shelves and stuff like that on those accounts where I'm like, yeah, okay, that's like 30 bucks. It's affordable and it looks cool and you can easily hang it on your wall. You know, and I understand stuff like that. At what point do you acknowledge it's kind of gone too far? <laughs> I've also seen a lot of videos um, pertain to like room finds on fast fashion websites like Sheen and Timu and I feel like those often contribute a lot to this overconsumption because everything is so readily available on Sheen and Timu. You can literally just buy anything for like five bucks on there and I believe that that plays a massive like part in contributing to this mass overconsumption that we're seeing on the internet right now and uh, it's kind of sad because you know we're in a time where barely anyone can afford anything yet we're constantly having this stuff shoved in our faces telling us we need it to be socially acceptable and to fit in when in reality you don't really need that you can just as easily thrift to get stuff like that for your room over buying from spots like timu sheen amazon you know stuff that it's like it's gonna be cheaply made it's not gonna last a while and you can find a more sustainable way to obtain your ideal bedroom. Literally just go into Goodwill or like any local thrift store and I promise you, you can find like wall tapestries, shelving, fuck I found bed frames inside of my local Goodwill. So these TikToks and videos truly aren't necessary. They're literally trying to make you feel like you need this to earn their money. And I feel like if we acknowledge that, less people are going to fall for it, and that's a good thing. Anyways, I think that wraps everything up. I'm Ren, I'm tired, and thank you for watching. Wait, before you go, I wanted to shout out my channel memberships and Patreon. If you become a member on my channel or Patreon, you get early uploads, a special role in my Discord server, and hopefully for my channel members soon, I'll have finished up the custom badges and custom emotes, so you can use those as well. I'm currently unemployed and I'm having a hard time finding employment due to my disabilities. If you can't afford to pay anything, you can just subscribe and leave a comment to help support me in the content I make. I appreciate everything, including just general support for my channel. Anyways, goodbye for real this time, and I'll see you all later.